You know, there's one thing that actors tend to do in auditions that is so different from what real human beings do in real life that it ends up making the audition look fake. And that's the last thing that you want as an actor is to look fake, right? So what's this terrible thing that actors are doing? They're staring at their partners way too much. Hey guys, it's Kurt from smallmarketactor.com and in this video I'll talk about why staring at your partner looks so fake and what you can do to avoid making that mistake so that your audition stands out above the rest. So let's set the scene here. In a typical audition where there's a conversation between two people, the actor that's auditioning stands in front of the camera while the person reading the opposite lines usually stands next to the camera right out of frame. So when the audition starts, what do most actors do? They maintain eye contact with the person that's reading the other part the entire time. Now, think about this for a second. When you're in a conversation with someone, are you looking at their eyes 100% of the time when you're talking to them? No. That almost never happens in real life. Studies have shown that we maintain eye contact about 80% of the time when we're listening to someone else speak, but that number drops to between 40 and 60% of the time when we're the ones talking. So unless it's a deeply intimate scene like exchanging wedding vows, people rarely lock eyes throughout the entire conversation. In fact, if someone did do that in real life for an extended period of time, you'd probably be creeped out by them. I will stare into the depths of your soul. So why do actors tend to do this? Well, I can't speak for everyone, but I can tell you the reason I used to fall into this trap. You see, when I first started auditioning, I felt like I needed to show a connection with my scene partner. And I thought that by maintaining eye contact, it would show how fully engaged I was in the conversation and in the scene. Little did I know that my plan would totally backfire. Instead of looking like a human being engaged in a scene, I looked like an amateur actor with no clue how to make a conversation look real. I eventually learned that what I was doing was wrong, but not before blowing a bunch of auditions. Another reason actors tend to maintain eye contact the entire time has to do with the audition space itself. Most audition rooms are pretty empty with just a camera and a light or two. There's nothing in there to distract actors. Now this is both a blessing and a curse. It's great because we don't want a bunch of distractions when we're in there trying to concentrate and nail an audition. But it also sucks because in real life, there is life going on around us. There are distractions everywhere and we react to them even if it's just for a brief moment. Let me give you an example. Let's say the scene that you're auditioning for takes place in a restaurant. Now, if you were in a real restaurant, there would be plenty of things going on around you, right? So say you're in a real restaurant having a conversation with someone across the table from you. Meanwhile, a new customer comes walking through that door and you are momentarily distracted as you look over briefly and then come right back without missing a beat in the conversation. We do this all the time in real life, don't we? Unfortunately, the audition room is a far cry from a real restaurant. In fact, short of a police interrogation, there are not too many real life scenarios that an audition room could believably represent. So since there's no life going on around us in the audition room, we almost can't help but look at our partner and maintain eye contact throughout the entire conversation. So those are a couple reasons why a lot of actors tend to fall into this trap of staring at their partner the entire time. Now let's talk about a couple things that you can do to avoid making that mistake so that your audition stands out. The first thing that you can do is to take some time to think about what you're going to say. You know how we sometimes look off into the distance and um, huh, think about what we're going to say before we talk? We do this in real life because we don't have all our dialogue pre-planned out. Our conversations are spontaneous, but when we have a script, we already know all of our lines, so it's easy to just fire them all out like a machine gun because we don't have to think about what we're saying. As actors, though, we need to make our conversations look unscripted and spontaneous. So go through your script and see if you could find the parts where it would make sense to pause for a moment before you said your next line. Another thing that you can do to avoid staring at your partner the entire time is to imagine your surroundings. Before you begin your audition, briefly close your eyes and imagine the setting of the scene. 
If it's a restaurant scene like we talked about before, take a moment to really picture everything going on in that restaurant in your mind's eye. This will increase your awareness of all the light that's going on around you. And once you start your audition, make sure to stay aware of everything around you and allow yourself to momentarily look at the waiter or look at the crying baby or the wall decorations. Now, you don't have to overdo it. If you just do this every once in a while to take your gaze away from your partner for just a second and then come right back, it'll make your conversations look a hundred times more realistic. All right, so those were a couple tips to help you avoid the mistake of constantly staring at your partner for the entire audition. 